<clears throat> Hello, how are y'all doing tonight? Tonight it's time for Truth Bomb Tuesday. Took a couple weeks off for the holidays, so I took Christmas and New Year's off, but I'm back to start the new year off right with episode four. Tonight's topic is going to be styrofoam. Styrofoam is a widely used plastic-ish substance that we use here and all over the world, but it's not so good for the world. It's not so good for us, and I wanted to come and point out some things that you might or might not know about styrofoam, our favorite friendly plastic drink holder. <laughs> anyway, um, styrofoam is made of polystyrene, which is a common plastic used in everyday life, but it is a form of polystyrene. It is um, made from the plastic monomer styrene, and it is made from petroleum products, which are non-reusable and pollute the environment. And styrene has also been labeled as a health hazard, and in animals has been shown to cause cancer. Hmm. And it also is not biodegradable and it takes about 500 to 1,000 years if it is going to degrade. And think about that. Um, at the rate, I found this statistic, uh, Americans throw away 25 billion styrofoam cups annually. Americans. So that's 82 cups per year per person that never go away. They just stay in the landfills and they just hang out. And they don't break down. They don't go anywhere. They go into our oceans. They kill animals. They just, they're not good. Um, in 1986, the EPA did a report on solid waste, and it named the polystyrene process, manufacturing process the fifth largest creator of hazardous waste in the U.S. Manufacturing, use, disposal, energy consumption, greenhouse gas effect, the total environmental effect, is second only to aluminum, which is another topic I did last week, last time. It is a neurotoxin to humans, and it shows toxicity is a neurotoxin by attacking the central and peripheral nervous system. That sounds fun, um, yeah. And let's see, It people say, well, I drink out of my coffee, and I get my coffee cups everywhere. That's great, but there's alternatives. Those same places that offer styrofoam coffee cups, you can also bring your metal ones and you can bring glass. You can ask for paper, which is biodegradable. But the dangers of putting your hot liquids inside of styrofoam, that's the thing. Cold styrofoam, like your cold drinks, you're not really breaking it down unless it's lemonade with an acid in it, but it's it's pretty safe in there. However, when you put hot liquids in your styrofoam, such as coffee or hot tea or lemon, anything acidic um, or fat soluble, because it is fat soluble, um, but when you put it in there, it starts breaking it down, causing toxins to be absorbed by your blood and your tissues. Um, Polystyrene leach containers leach the toxin styrene when in contact with warm food or drink, alcohol, oils, or acidic foods. Avoid tea with lemon, coffee, and dairy, fruit juices, alcohol, and wine in styrofoam cups. Red wine, especially because it instantly dissolves the styrene monomer, and then you're just drinking it. So think about how often you do this. Um, also, Microwaving styrofoam, bad idea. It instantly just puts it right in your food and then you're eating all this stuff. And things with vitamin A, beta carotene also. Um, there are over a hundred cities worldwide that have actually banned polystyrene food packaging because of the negative health and environmental effects. And if the containers you are using in your microwave, that's another Truth Bomb Tuesday. Keep, keep focused on that though. Um, but they are not labeled as microwave safe. Your plastic containers, they are not microwave safe. So if you microwave your stuff and you use plastic in your microwave or styrofoam, don't, just don't. Put it in something else. Heck, eat it cold. 
Um, but anyway, that's my Truth Bomb Tuesday for this fun Tuesday afternoon, evening. It's such a great day, and I'm so thankful that you are here to watch this. And uh, Happy New Year, and uh, see you next Tuesday with another Truth Bomb Tuesday. Love y'all. Bye. Thanks.